In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create synergy with your type and your baseline grid. I'm going to look at three examples. First is body copy, then a headline, and then a caption. Three fundamental parts of any article. So with my body copy selected, I'll alt and left click on create new style. I'll name this paragraph style body, make sure apply style to selection and preview checkboxes are turned on and then head to basic character formats. I'm going to leave it as is, except for the fact that this is going to be nine points. Of course, I'm going to change the letting value from auto to 11 points. That matches the baseline grid. And then in terms of indents and spacing, this is where you align. So in this case, it's all lines will align to the baseline grid. And you can see the text frame on the right hand side now changes. And of course, this is the most important paragraph style because the bulk of your copy will be formatted as body. And that is what the whole document's based upon. The baseline grid is set to, to 11 points. That matches the leading value for our body copy. So with that done, I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to select the text frame at the top, which contains what will be the heading. I'll create a new paragraph style. I'll name this heading all because it will snap to all lines of the baseline grid. Now in this scenario, I'm going to go from my nine points and double it to 18, which means I need to double my leading value to 22 points. Then I'll head across to indents and spacing, where again, I'll choose to align all the lines of my heading to the baseline grid. So again, the leading and the baseline grid will match, except I'm going to turn off just for this scenario hyphenation because it doesn't look very good hyphenating the word January and I'll click OK. Now again, I'm going to reset this style to back, back to basic paragraph formatting. I'm going to create a brand new one, but this time I'm only going to align the first line of the baseline grid. I'm going to set the point size again, back up to 18, double of my body copy. But this time I'm going to try and achieve a little better line spacing with a leading of 20 points rather than 22. This means then under indents and spacing, I'll choose first line only. So that will use the first line of every new paragraph that this uh, paragraph styles apply to, it will snap to the baseline grid on that first line. And after that first line, the leading value will then take over and determine the space between each line of text until the end of that particular paragraph. And once again, I'm going to head across to hyphenation and turn this off completely. Just for this scenario, there are better ways to set up hyphenation, but just for this scenario. And I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to head up to the text frame containing my caption. Again, that's got basic formatting applied to it. I'll create a brand new paragraph style, name this accordingly. Now on this occasion, I'm going to make the point size lower. I'm going to go down to seven points. I'm going to differentiate by turning it into italicized text as well. But more crucially, the leading value in here, I'm going to set it two points higher than the size. So it's nine points. And again, I'll head back to indents and spacing. And this time I'm going to choose once more first line only. Because I've set the point size of my text to be seven points, I want to control the gaps between the lines with the leading. So that can't be 11 points. It will look too disjointed. So I'm going to revert back to using the leading value in this paragraph style to control the line spacing. When that's done, I'll click OK. And that is how you can tie together three crucial styles of text for your articles, your heading, your body copy and your captions, all work in conjunction with the baseline grid, but in different ways that suits that text in every scenario.